and just yep, rinse, yep. repeat. Canine just constantly put in that in yeah. lead trapping situation. Yeah. So he was taking a lot of damage just just from that. I mean, yeah, but Canine did good too. Yeah, I, he, I he really like the Lucina pick. Um, the right call for sure. He just needs to tighten up on some of those. Some of those mistakes. Yeah, that, uh, Peach, uh, Peach Daisy versus Wolf is a rough one for sure. At least from what I've been able to surmise from it. But then again, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Eddie. No, I'm You're good. You're just a commentator. I'm good, bro. Just I'm not just a commentator. I'm Hashtag good. Hashtag just a commentator. I'm going to come in here. Don't worry, dog. I'm going to I'm going to smack man. everyone up, dude. Uh, you, you guys will see me on the other side of the street. Don't, <laughs> don't worry. If we can put you round, round two. Put, put my round one. Put my round two. Put me as many times as you want. I don't care. <laughs> all right. Put all my matches on stream. You that heard. means I can go back and watch them all. Stream, you heard it. We're going to put all his matches on stream. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be, if uh, I show up next week and, and I'm not on stream, I'm going to be pissed. It's going to be I'm hip versus Edmund <laughs> round one what? on stream. That shouldn't be round one. Come on. <laughs> Come okay. on. Okay. <laughs> well, winners finals. I'm hit versus Razo. Uh, these two players have played quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Especially uh, approaching a heart of battle. These two are constantly battling it out. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how many times Razo has actually taken the uh, victory over I'm hit, but I feel like it's only been once. Yeah, I think once or twice. Definitely once, maybe twice. Um, but historically, well, I'm hip has been Razo's demon throughout the course of. Um, Smash Force. I believe well. Razo's taken two sets off I'm hit, but it was like they were both in grand finals. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're right. Oh, so he won two sets. He won two sets. So, I, yeah, he did one took twice. A yeah. He took a tournament over yeah. I'm hit. But wow, these two play, playing the, the long game. Oh, snap. I'm not even sure what he hit there with there. It looked like he threw a turnip and then landed with a dash attack. Fair. Was it a fair? It was a fair. It didn't look like they, the thing even came just, out. But okay. The way he fast <laughs> Yeah, it was weird. Anyways, getting that first stock on I'm hip. And Razo. oh my god, just eating through those Pikmin with a forward air. And then he was still able to hit yeah, Omar even after be a problem. eating up all those Pikmin. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be a problem. You know, as long as uh, Razo is able to successfully connect these forwarders in that fashion. Because I'm hip. He's a master at spacing his attacks with these Pikmin. I, he's the number one Olimar strategi strategist in my uh, opinion and in my heart. Down throw into back air. Razo looking a little familiar. <laughs> these lead traps. Oh, yeah. It's looking like the last set between uh, Razo and K9. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Where yeah. was the... Razo was just held that. Uh, Maybe he just laid there. He could have just, like... At Sleeping least done a beauty right over there. Could have just tried to abuse the armor from like get up attack or something. Right? No. Yeah, Sleeping Daisy and the three Pikmin not exactly working out in his favor. That forward air though is ridiculously strong. Oh, uh, that was a grab. He uh, went for like a safer nair for whatever reason. Uh -huh. Anyways, back air, putting I'm hip down to his last stock in this first game of winners finals. Wow, if you had asked me that if Razo was going to have, like, maintain such a strong lead in game one after the history that these two have had, yeah. I'm saying, like, Razo has really adapted to uh, to the tools that I'm Hip uses. Make himself a threat against I'm Hip. Yeah, I really love the way I'm Hip is playing right now. He's playing his zone, uh, making sure to rack a lot of percentage onto Razo, 130 total so far. And basically none on himself. He's got the blue and the purple. White, if he needs to rack up even more percent, but he doesn't even need it, a grab is going to do it right now. Oh, oh my god. Nair? Yeah. Back air? Oh. oh. Nair probably would have been the safer one. Yeah. But, but you, back air was the, the right call. I mean, yeah, if yeah. back air landing would have put yeah. a tech situation you know, harder to you yeah. know, potentially end the game. Yeah. But not going to matter when you whiff. But. Back onto the stage, and I'm hip, still struggling to find a stock here. I mean, Razo he has actually hasn't taken any percent since I mentioned that I'm hip hadn't taken any percent. And, you know, I'm hip does have the kill setup on, on deck. Oh, boy. There it is, fo uh, purple forward air. And he's got two purples and a blue. If he can keep this line out, out for a while, should be sitting pretty. I, I feel like it's less optimal at 0%. Uh, 
I mean, double, double purple is kind of strong. It's still going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, for sure. Kind of meets most of the scenarios that you would need with, uh, with Omar. Alright. Let me see a forward throw. Down, Down throw. throw. Hit him with a mix up. Doesn't able. <laughs> doesn't able to. <laughs> I went to college. <laughs> Ooh, dash attack beating out the, the down smash, but still not enough to actually launch I'm hip into the blast zone. Oh my god. Alright. Down tilt trading with I don't know, one of Daisy's really fast moves. <laughs> it's probably an air. Yeah, that, that's what it looked like to me. It was definitely an aerial, I think. <laughs> it's like, I think it's crazy like some of Arazo's approaches. Like he actually has no no thought about security or safety. He, he will straight up run. At his at I'm hip while float canceling there. And he just like he's the spinning princess. He doesn't need to put thought into <laughs> safety or security when his stuff is safe. That's Do it. <laughs> but I mean <laughs> just press it. it it's it, not like completely safe against Omar nah, because yeah, of course sure. he's got a you know, he can just latch the Pikmin on. Yes. Or if the purple one's there, it just straight out like knocks knock Daisy knock into double. Out, yeah, for sure. Definitely, it's not free. And, uh, and then again, also the combos that Razo is doing aren't free. So he's putting a lot of uh, time in the lab into the, to execute these. It doesn't take too much execution, though, to pluck some uh, turnips and just sit back, chuck away. Down tilt, forward air, Razo packing on the damage. Double jumps away. Back air to punish all the Pikmin tosses. Wow, a lot of shield oh damage. Oh my god, dude. The shield is looking so small from both players there. <laughs> and Razo really fighting to avoid these purple Pikmin at all costs. Fighting to oh. avoid the purple Pikmin and of course oh. stay on the stage as well. But down tilt into up air connects. Daisy Bomber not going to connect. He just continues to weave around like the Pikmin that I'm is throwing out. All right, when are we going to see it? Are we going to see a Saturn? Are we going to see a Stitch Eye? Maybe a, maybe Dot Eyes? How about some bombs? Oh, bomb no. Bomb. Some bomb bombs? Bomb bomb. If, if he racks up a little bit more damage, then I want to see a bomb bomb. Right now, I want to see a Saturn or a Stitch. Yeah, I'm hip only at 13% on his first stock and securing Razos with a back air. Good anti-air up smash into an up air. Another up air to continue the juggle. And wow, 80% in a matter of seconds. And the damage just keeps coming. Oh, oh my god, what a turnaround from I'm Hip taking no percent. Still sitting at 13 and just obliterating Razo off stage. I mean, that's what happens when you take your opponent's jump early. Oh, I yeah. Mean, I'm Hip was looking like Fox right there with the, oh, the vortex yeah. that we just saw. Uh, Razo trying to make haste. Come right back with a forward air of his own. Okay, back air. Latching a Pikmin on, but it doesn't stay on for too long. Neutral air. Okay, so Razo is trying to stay within the space. Like, if you look at his distance between uh, himself and I'm hip, he was trying to stay in that gap where if oh, I'm man. hip did choose to roll, he would actually catch it with an air. For sure. But did not matter as the purples came in through so strong for I'm hip. Yeah. I mean, wow. <laughs> this is qu quite a difference. I mean, even just in that first game from the first stock where it looked like Razo had a, a handle on it, it kind of looked like it was going the same way that his set versus K9 was going. But... The main difference that I want to point out is that I'm I'm hip. He plays the long game for oh, sure. Definitely like, the long con. <laughs> like he lost that first stock, but he didn't start to overcommit or or get anxious. Really force a kill. He just kind of sat back, played his game, played slowed the pace of the match down to his level, and then you saw he just took control of momentum. That's right. Oh hey, there's that that uh, setter. It went by. Yeah. He just popped Called up, it. said, "Hey, Edmund, later." <laughs> <laughs> just, just for you. Yeah, he just topped in, typed an F, <laughs> and did. <Pressed> <laughs> <laughs> All 
Alright. Okay, so now Razo resorting to using the uh, the counter toad to beat up some of these Pikmin. I mean, if you have a Pikmin of your own, you might as well use them. Absolutely. Alright. Alright, can we talk about, like, the pummel animation from, from Peach Daisy's grab? With, with Toad? With Toad. Like, yeah. Toad is punching. Oh, yeah. Is he punches it's you. Brutal. When, like, he hits you. Yeah. He's punching the <laughs> gut, man. He's short, too, so he's, like, but he's, he's like, literally, like, low going, blow. Yeah, he's going he's <laughs> low blow, and he's taking out the knees on some of those characters. <laughs> but Olimar is, like, he's so short that he's just, like, taking his nose. <laughs> In the face. Yeah. Oh, my God. No wonder his helmet gets cracked. I want to see the Toad versus uh, Olimar matchup. <laughs> That's the next, like, bonus DLC, like, Piranha Plant. Oh, yo. It's Toad. Is it Toad? Confirm? You didn't hear from me? Oh, okay. Your uncle works for Nintendo, right? Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Mi tío. <laughs> oh, Razo Got able to codes. take the lead and uh, maintain it. So as long as he can uh, just combat all the Pikmin with these turnips. Wow. Being above Olimar is not not exactly the safest space. His up air is really strong. Of course, he has an anti-air up smash. Ooh. Oh, dash attack. I'm surprised I'm hip drop shield right there. All he had to really do is keep holding it. Maybe he got shield pulled, but I mean, his shield is pretty healthy, yeah. so I, I doubt it. I, I, I don't think that's so actually either. like the second or third time he's done that, too, where he tried to parry the He's the trying to hit. parry the last hit of the dash attack. That's exactly what he's doing. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm um, hip. Doesn't need a parry to pr bring himself back, back into the game, though. Securing that stock with a forward air and Razo taking his sweet time to come down from that angel platform. Okay. Turn up into there into an forward air. Essentially like a, an aerial F smash. Oh, he was expecting an offensive option. A drop down, like, forward air from the ledge, wow. but... Let's trapping, I'm hip into air dodging. Yeah. And then air dodge on the platform, getting hit by the back here. Uh, Razo ready with that kill option. 35% here, only 10% separating them. Oh, make that in the other direction now. I mean, 10% or 35% and a whole stock. Yeah. Razo looking poised to take this game two, or this game three, and uh, which is really important. Especially in winners finals because it's gonna give him the opportunity if it does go to game five to have that stage counter pick. As well as put a lot more pressure on I hip to win. Oh my god, so much time to punish that. Get up attack, shields and forward smashes right back in Razo's face. And I, I really like uh, what Razo's doing here, taking the time to regain his composure after losing a stock. Although that conversion is not going to matter too much to I'm Hip. He already puts 58% on him. Good parry, but surprised he didn't take an opportunity to do some damage to the, the Purple Pikmin. Those Purple Pikmin in this last stock situation are extremely precious. Oh my god, double double Monique's. Yeah, that yellow one can go, but, but with the <laughs> yellow one gone, that oh. opens up another slot. Oh, there's the blue! There it is, the blue. It's not it's quite the, online as a kill yet, but... Definitely approaching the percent. Oh, snap. Ooh, good snipe. Oh, and get snap. rid of that blue. Oh, snap. Really re excellent stuff for uh, I'm Hip to recover low. Oh, and the mini pop-off. He oh, says yes. Oh, but it's yes. not over yet. It's not over. Oh, snap, dude. I'm Hip even thought it. I mean, I would have thought mean, so, too. And there's the dash attack. Razo taking the game. He uh, got the bar dude. back here. Nintendo said it was over. That's the, that's the Paragon LA <laughs> pop-off pop against Mr. R. Not not quite to the the extremity of that one, of course, but it's like a, you know a mini pop off to, to lose. I mean, uh, in that case, he lost the set though, because yeah, he, he popped yeah. off after winning a game. Uh, that was fun. But can we talk about the the early pop off from our stream monster, <laughs> uh, our stream master? Dude, uh, we all he, we, he we, we, we can't blame him though. We all <laughs> we all thought it. We all thought it was done. We got the we got the dramatic finish and everything, the critical hit. Oh, okay. Up smash to up airs. I always see at least two up airs chain out of that up smash. Why? I don't know, man. Ask Nintendo. Ask Sakurai. I mean, I'll tell you why. This character does damage. <laughs> that's why. Oh, my God. I'm hip. Is I'm mad. I'm still popping off. That's he's what he's mad, doing. He's mad, dude. I mean, he, he's mad. 
he basically won that game. He said, that game was mine, and I'm going to show you why that game is mine. 51% already, only 9 on I'm Hip's first stock here. Yeah, I'm Hip playing a lot more close combat in uh, this game 4 than he was in the previous sets. Yeah, I like it a lot. I think, um, whereas before, he was kind of more trying to uh, play from afar, staying outside of the range of Razo's hitboxes. But in this case, he's kind of just um, hitting Razo before hitboxes even come out. Which I mean, he might want to resort back to his, like, yeah. his far away, keep away gameplay. Uh, because mixing it up is the, the tool that you want to yeah. expose and use. Especially at this abuse. point that he's racked up this much percent. 82 on Razo. Still on his first stock. Forward air. That's going to do it. 92% on Razo. Uh, purple Pikmin in hand from I'm Hip. Yeah, dash Ooh. attacking gonna whip, and I'm Hip gonna get a punch with the down smash. Trying to latch a red on for some extra damage, but he doesn't find it. But you only need the one Purple Pikmin to be Ooh. a threat. And there she goes. Oh, up throw. Okay, forward throw. Good DI. Yeah. Up. Now only, only taking 25% on the second stock. Dude, oh my god. Okay, I love that both these characters are like damage machines. Yeah, oh, oh the spike coming. I mean, we haven't really seen I'm him go for that option against Razo. We saw it uh, in the previous that he was playing. Dude, those first two games. What, they don't matter Those anymore? felt like Brawl. That game, that game was a game that hasn't even come out yet, dog. I don't oh, that know. That was ultimate. Oh, my God, that bro. That was ultimate. Are you sure? Yeah. The, I've never seen the game four? I've never seen it be so You've fast. You've never seen that before? Oh my god. Oh man, you need to watch more I'm Hip. Yeah, I guess I guess I'm not watching enough I'm Hip. That's not no, true. He's definitely getting I'm hyped. just I'm just saying, man, that was a really fast that was a really <laughs> fast game compared to the first two. <laughs> I'm Hip went in the zone that time. I mean it was completely it was, obliterated it was that, that game plan change that yeah. we saw in the beginning. He decided that you know the the long range, yeah. long con wasn't working out. Nope. So he went in full aggro, got, got the him. damage, got the vortex, early stocks, and then just waited for his opportunity to to open up Razo again. Okay, here we go, game five. Game five between Razo and I'm hit here. Uh, winners finals at Wednesday night fights in Santa Ana, California. Shoutouts to Level Up Live. Right. And then uh, Razo was having a little bit of difficulty last game with the, the close combat close coming from combat. I'm hip. Yeah. I'm hip. But now he's seemed to have taken a minute. CQC. And it looks like he's adjusted. He's keeping up with the damage. He's not exactly getting Vortex. Oh. Even teching the, yeah. the, the grab. Yeah, which is, uh, you know, he, he, you're used to seeing that against uh, two characters that have like very normal grabs, but with Olimar's being a tether grab, it, it, it looked tricky. Two purples here for I'm Hip, and there's the forward air, giving Razo a taste of his own medicine. Mm -hmm. Deep down throw, chasing with the nair, but doesn't find it. There's there's your magical combo up smash into double up air forward I'm air. I'm telling you, dude, it's always two uppers. Like, why? <laughs> Man, it does so much damage, too. <laughs> Able to snipe out that yellow Pikmin on the ledge. Forward air, not going to find it, but a back air. Out of shield. Yeah, that'll punish. do it. Razo, only one combo away from bringing it right back. <laughs> and dash attack doesn't connect, but a grab will, and already right back in it. Basically even percents here for Razo. When it comes to both of our players here, they... Their combo game is on deck. Yeah, it's nice. on point. It's nice. And if they, if they ever get the, the conversion they're looking for, it's big damage. Oh, yeah. And this is the tricky part, though, is, is like how is a Razo going to get these approaches? Because the way I'm hip is playing is he is throwing these Pikmin in the area where uh, Razo wants to put out these hitboxes. Oh. Well, turn up's help. But you know what? Yeah. Purple Pikmin also answered right back. Ooh. Oh my god. No way. Down toss. Turn up to back air. That was a true combo and it killed from across the stage. Hello, baby. That's right. Back air. I mean, the booty bump is no yeah. joke. And just like that, Razo uh, 
pulling himself from the depth of hell and securing a lead in this game. He's going to need it too, 142%. He can't get grabbed. He can't get uh, hit by any sort of strong Pikmin toss or aerial. Okay, down oh. air oh. on the shield. I like the escape though. He just, he, he knew that uh, I'm Ooh. Hip was going to try and retaliate. Yeah. So he just took the shield oh. damage and dipped. Oh, and I'm Hip was playing Ultra Instinct for a moment there. Had taken no percent. Takes 12 before getting that up smash in. Nice anti-air from I'm Hip, bringing it down to the wire on our final stocks here for Winter Finals. And now resorting back to the turnip game. Back to our projectile based oh. game, but a couple oh, of big yeah. men and a forward air is going to net some damage for I'm Hip. Uh oh. Oh, he's facing the. the oh, he's scouting attack. these jumps three times, man. Oh. Oh, my God. He's got another one on the stage. He had to sacrifice the one purple Pikmin, but he had, he had two, so why not? That's right. Get rid of that yellow oh one while we're at it. Oh, my God. Oh, but he's still living. <laughs> Rosso's uh, the eyes insane. Uh, Javi was like, uh, my, my hands are off the keyboard. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Double jab, oh and now we God. see the double purple. Oh, my God. All right. Thank God I'm hip didn't jump into that. Mm -hmm, but he did it. Air directional air dodge right behind Rosso. He got punished for it. Oh, there. Great mix. He's just going to put Rosso above. Now on the ledge. Now Rosso's had some difficulty getting off the ledge. I'm hip. I feel an up smash. Feel or up a grab smash? at this Ooh. point. Yeah, then he's looking for a grab. Okay, well, Blue Pikmin is back in line. And Blue oh. Pikmin is gone. Frick. You see oh. forward air? Nope. Frick. Oh my god, he was trying to sneak in, get that up smash in. You gotta, you gotta oh be careful with throwing out god. So Oh my god, dude. You connected dude. high? Dude. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm hip. It was got up and was like mad because, dude, I, I saw that too. I was like, bro. Olimar was, was nowhere near that forward. Was up here. <laughs> like, dude. Daisy was still taking the crown off her head. Uh, yeah, there's no way that he generated that much force. Like, you need the force to be able to do a one. Uh, uh, she was still uh, taking you know the I mean? crown up. I know. That's what I mean. Like, there was, was no, there was no leverage. Like. How did he even? How did he even apply knockback at that point? It's like, how did he kill him like 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 this basically? Like, 